Kimu, welcome to uh, Halloween Daily, where every day is Halloween. It's great to talk to you today. Awesome. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Halloween Daily News. Cool. That's right. That's right. It's it's always Halloween here. Be good. Be good. I watched I watched the movie last night and I really enjoyed it. Um, I had a blast with it. Congrats awesome. on this. Um, and I'm okay. watching it. I'm watching. Thank it. you. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. And I'm thinking, you know, horror is. We always talk about horror. There's certain universal fears that just everybody's scared of, and and I feel like this is a film that. It doesn't matter what culture you're from, what language. Mm. It really yes. just hits on every level. Um, in your opinion, what is it about the horror genre specifically that can transcend cultures and language barriers um, in ways that maybe some genres don't always as effectively? Yeah, I think it's um, it it has that uh, that universal um, universal language that we we actually familiar with, you know. And I think it's important to to I think in each country to have to have that 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 film where they can actually mask the the the, the genre and 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 give a, a full story about it you know because this is particularly one of it I think um, dancing villages it's about the cultural story and. It, 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 it packaged with the story uh, with with the with the horror genre, and we able to tell it towards you know with the universal audience obviously because uh, you know horror everywhere that you go you can actually understand it you know in every country in every language, and I think that's particularly important, and that's why I I sort of get into that and hopefully. You know, I can, I can, I can tell the story from my end, and 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 people, wherever they came from, can understand it really easily, and also entertained by it. You know, and this one particular genre that we can actually push the story boundaries, and and, and you know, tell some of the local historical or local story that 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 can be, you know, can be told towards towards everyone in the world. And I do love um, the mythology of all of this. And I'm very curious yeah. how much of the mythology in the film is inspired by actual real folklore and how much is created uh, for the film? Um, for, for me, that I've known this story is actually is a true story. And the mythology, it's there because you know our culture in Indonesia that we have a lot of you know a different area, different culture. You know, you go a little bit to the to the east of it, and they have so many cultures that involve uh, that that created there. And I think this one is sort of a hundred percent the true story from the original author uh that they that he actually know you know and and i think this is the real the real one i think there is you know that sort of mythology or the folklore of of badarawuhi that that we are being told here and for the movies um you know the treatment for this it's as go as real as possible that's why as, as you can see that uh, there's not a lot of CGI involved in it because my treatment is you know to have an angle uh, for for actual uh, realness in in this in this treatment and I think it's you know probably more than 80 percent that, that this is a it's a real folklore that I'm telling the world to yeah. And um, I, I loved, I mean, it's a beautifully shot film, um, a, a lot mm. of just the composition and the lighting. And then I, I loved a lot of your choices. It was very cool how you would um, switch scenes or seemingly locations without seemingly breaking camera sometimes. Um, I, I yeah, love yeah. stuff like that. Um, can you talk a little bit about Thank that, you. about bringing your, your style into this specifically? Yeah, I love 
you know, I love to use CGI actually, but uh, you know, how to make it seamless? That I think that's the idea to make it work. I think the the lesser I I do CGI, I think the more challenge that uh, you know those those ideas came through, and um, some of it we 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 will we dealt we dealt with is actually uh, practical elements. You know, that's one of one of the scene, the dream sequence. It's hundred percent practical. You know, that that's something that I love to do, and, and hopefully, you know, it's inspired by Gondry, all the the music videos that he did. You know, and 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 a lot of uh, you know elements that uh, hopefully it's 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 blend in towards the story, and and, and try hard to blend. All the sequence of, uh, of of that uh, transition, uh, hopefully makes sense in a, in in I'm telling the story, and yeah, because I think that elements adds to the the fun of the film, you know, because uh, this is one particular story that pretty much difficult that I have to tell, and hopefully by doing that sort of elements have you know, gave the audience more connection or more, more, uh, more, you know, interested towards the subject. And I love that you mentioned Gondry and, and you mentioned that I can kind of see, see some of that in there for sure. Um, yeah. I'm curious, what are some of your other um, filmmaker inspirations or even film inspirations that, that we might know? I love, uh, you uh, from 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 the United States. I think I I I particularly love um, um, uh, Steven Spielberg, one of it, and um, I love Robert Zemeckis, you know, and also uh, the Coen Brothers. Uh, that's inspired me how 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 story can be, you know, all uh, elaborate and 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 the the. the the dream of Steven Spielberg and also M. Night Shyamalan also gave something different. You know, Quentin Tarantino also something that, uh, you know, I, I sort of looking for good elements of comedic elements actually from him. And, you know, those legendary directors that uh, I always look up to and, and always getting back to and, and, see what's you know what can i apply and and to be to be homage in in my movies and yeah hopefully you know and that's 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 just a few you know that's a lot of you know directors that uh, or many films that inspired me to do some great stuff especially from the from the u.s yeah excellent and of course um this film being presented in imax and yeah why was it important for you that you shoot this for IMAX. I mean, this is a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, IMAX is a, is a, is a format that we can be immersed in the story. And I think, you know, the bigger, the bigger screen that we have and the more detailed of the sound with the Atmos bringing in towards the IMAX, I think it's much more enhancing towards the story. I think it's, that's quite important for me. And, and, I'm glad the producers actually green-lighted that we actually, you know, thinking of doing that. <laughs> and and I think it gave a different experience, especially, you know, film for IMAX is just, a, you know, few in the world uh, working on uh, by this year. And to be part of that, I think it will be very challenging, at the same time, very fun to do. And, you know, hopefully the result is, you know, have the maximum uh storytelling towards the audience i think the bigger the screen the the more we capture the environment the more we, we go into the character i think it's something you know bring another level towards the story excellent and um i'm sure horror fans are gonna love it like i did um thank you I so let, much man before i yeah. let you go if, if you'll indulge us for just a minute because every day is halloween for us as you can see awesome. and i'm i'm always very curious um growing up what what was halloween like for you did did you celebrate what what's your relationship to uh to the halloween holiday i'm always very curious 
Oh, Halloween holiday. I love it here in Indonesia because uh, it's not because I love to watch American films, so I am particularly known the the culture, right? And then, but here, probably not much. But uh, at Halloween, always always grab something more uh, a gem in the uh, in the in the film horror genre, you know. And and I don't know yet this year what I'm gonna get, you know, watching a movie in Halloween, but. Uh, I have to get something, I think, you know, from, I don't know, either from the U.S. or from Europe, you know, there's a lot of crazy movies out there. And then I think that's the tradition for me to watch, you know, Halloween horror films together at night. You know, I think that's much more fun. Excellent. Excellent. I like that. That's, awesome. that's like you said, your own personal uh, Halloween tradition, and and I love that too. To to, to run some uh, classic Halloween movies every every October, I love that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. Yes, of course. Well, thank you so much for for talking to us today. I know you're very busy right now with with the film coming thank out you, and everything, but um, I can't recommend it high enough. It's awesome, and um, thank you, man. We always hate to say goodbye, but since every day is Halloween, instead, I'm just going to tell you, Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to you too, man. Thank you so much.